good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic Mighty of Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing a very special video that is coming soon to the channel. You guys already know that the next episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, the, the long-running customization WWE Action Figure episodic series that hit YouTube channel, that hit YouTube channel. What a stupid, idiot, dumb moron. That hit my YouTube channel, I, I don't even know, maybe a year ago, a couple years ago? I can't even remember. But we're on episode 50, guys. The next episode will be number 50 for WWE Action Figure Surgery. I absolutely love that series. It's one of my favorite series to do here on the channel and you know we've been at it for a while and just like My Damn Hall is a long running episodic series on the channel, I wanted to do the same thing for Action Figure Surgery that I did for My Damn Halls. If you guys saw My Damn Halls episode 50 we did a really big episode. I think it was like a really long unboxing. We had so many packages from fans and all over and stuff and I plan on doing that for episode 100 of My Damn Halls but we're not talking about My Damn Halls today, that is for another day, but today we're discussing WWE Action Figure Surgery Episode 50 because I need your guys' help on what exactly that you guys want to see on that episode. I have tons of ideas having to do with all of these figures right here, and in this video today I just kind of wanted to discuss where my head was at on some of the fix-ups and, and customs and stuff like that that I'm thinking about putting in that video. You guys can help me. Comment down below in the comment section below right now what you would like to see for Episode 50 of Action Figure Surgery. A lot of people people are saying do like a 50 minute long episode you know one minute for every episode that we've done so far so that'd be a 50 minute episode and it could even be longer I mean who knows I just I, I know that the episodes typically range from around the 15 to 25 minute range some have gone longer I think some have been a little bit shorter but uh today I'm just going to kind of discuss some of the things I'm thinking I got a lot of new figures here I got some stuff on the way because I have some ideas of some fix-ups and things that I want to do so let's go ahead and get into it guys the first up is the Mr. T action figure you guys know that the Mr. T figure is the SDCC exclusive from this past year or from 2020 and uh, Entertainment Earth was shipping these things out. I already got my other copy from them. I got this one from Mattel. Shout out to Mattel for sending me this Mr. T and I want to do a fix up with it but I don't know exactly what I want to do. I have an idea for a custom wrestler that I want to make and I guess I can get into the details of that later but it kind of has to do with Mr. T a little bit. I thought about making them a tag team uh, sometime down the road. I also thought about just uh, making a fix up of this Mr. T with some different boots maybe putting these gold boots on a different wrestler or a different guy and I'm still mulling that over trying to figure out what I want to do with that but Mr. T is something I wanted to do and I actually just wanted to take a figure and put the Mr. T shirt on and the Sami Zayn slash Tommaso Ciampa camo pants I wanted to put that on a figure just to see what it looked like so maybe we'll do that I'm not exactly sure but I did want to do something with Mr. T because uh, I don't know I just like it another thing that I thought about doing was the AEW figures but but the thing is, as you guys know as well as I do, these guys are not in my area. Like, they're just not hitting my area. And I wanted to do a video where we, you know, fix these up or customize these. And Action Figure Surgery uh, Episode 50 would have been an excellent freaking time to do that, right? I mean, it would have been a perfect moment. Um, they released at the perfect time. We could do some things with them. But I just don't know what I can do. We're limited on parts here. I have heard and seen some stuff where you could switch out some Mattel parts on some of these guys and they are actually, uh, you got to mod them a little bit. You know, you do have to do some tweakage to them, but I think they are absolutely customizable if you wanted to switch some stuff out. I've seen some people put a Mattel torso on this Kenny Omega and repaint the head. I've seen a lot of different stuff. I thought about maybe dry brushing the blonde into the Kenny Omega hair, possibly. Um, I, I've thought about a lot of things that we could do with these figures, but I'm still running into exact details of what I want to do exactly because, again, we are limited. We don't have a ton of torsos to choose from. The skin tones are still not the best right now, so I do want to wait until we get some more figures, I think, before I put them in there. I did really want to use them for Action Figure Surgery Episode 50, so I guess we're just going to have to see about that, see how that goes and stuff. And if I had extras that I found at Walmart, which I tried to do, you know, I tried to find these guys at retail. I was going to find them at retail, buy some copies, and then use those copies to make fix-ups and customs and, you know, different interchangeable parts and see how that goes on a video, but I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see about that, but there's the AEW figures. If you guys have any cool ideas for those, you can let me know down below, but with the Kenny Omega issue and stuff like that, with the skin tone, I thought about, you know, getting some paint and painting the torso, but that would probably be a nightmare, so I don't know, man. I'm still mulling over the options. Some more stuff that I thought about putting in Action Figure Surgery episode number 50 is Elite Series 78. So Elite Series 78, you guys know we got Matt Riddle, we got Randy Orton, we got Kofi Kingston, we have R-Truth. Now, I don't know what I would do with R-Truth. I feel like R-Truth's a pretty damn good figure anyways, but uh, there are some fix-ups that I kind of want to do with Randy Orton. I 
thought about doing a little uh, paint job on his face there, make that look a little bit better. You guys know all the plethora of issues that this Matt Riddle has. You guys know the skinny arm problem, the shoulders, all that different stuff. I thought about even switching out the thighs at one point. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. I think it's still the best figure in the set, but he definitely could use some surgery. And if you guys wanted to fix some of those problems, you know we usually do that on action figure surgery anyways. But Kofi Kingston, his eyes are misaligned, so I do need to get a new head sculpt for him. I need to also, or I actually want to, I don't need to, but I want to switch out these feet with a different Kofi and possibly do some other fix-ups with it. But Elite 78 is something that I did want to fix up on action figure surgery episode 50. And, uh, you know, I want to do some fantasy stuff too. I don't want to just stick to the regular stuff. I want to do some cool customs on there. Uh, maybe rebuild some stuff that we've done in the past that didn't really work out. Uh, do some more fantasy attires and stuff like that, which is always my favorite to do. So you guys know that we did make this fantasy attire Rollins. I do want to end up switching. You guys can see here, it still has the yellow lower legs here. And this Mustafa Ali has the black lower legs. I think I need to switch these lower legs so that the Mustafa Ali has the full yellow. Rollins has the full black and stuff like that. So I'll probably end up doing that on that episode maybe. Uh, again, I'm just spitballing all this and this isn't everything I'm going to do. This is just some ideas that I had and I wanted to run it by you guys, see what you guys thought about it and everything like that. Uh, getting into the next one guys is my wife's head sculpt right here. You guys know that we were in the we were in the process of making my wife a custom figure and I did get all that schmutz off her forehead. I did have to, you know, do some uh, magic, you know, BEW style stuff right there. Uh, I fixed her forehead. I do have to sand down the head right here. I gotta sand this down and attach the hair piece so that she has her beautiful long luscious locks right there. But I think this is a perfect head sculpt for my wife and we're gonna build her figure on Action Figure Surgery episode 50 I'm pretty sure. Still mulling over you know the total formula that I want to use but uh, I think we're, we're working on that. We're full speed ahead on that and I'm really excited to finish her figure so that I'm not all damn alone over here as you guys can see which brings me to my next thing is I thought about doing a in ring gear for myself but I feel like I need a new head sculpt. You know I, I need BEW to give me a new head sculpt and I don't know if I'm going to have that in time for action figure surgery episode 50 so we'll just have to see but I am going to finish my wife's figure so that we can be happily uh, you know by a ringside you know I want, I want to have my wife a figure and I want myself to be there as well so we are going to finish her figure as well as some other things but this Kofi we already discussed. Another thing I thought about doing was doing like a custom fiend paint job. Now I have this extra fiend head sculpt you guys know that I had the busted version of the Elite 77 fiend figure thought about painting this up in a cool fantasy gear possibly putting it on a different torso maybe not the fiend torso because you guys know my arms are all bummy but uh, maybe we can make that work somehow maybe we can fix up that figure I know it has some parts that we can possibly switch and, and you know do all kinds of crazy stuff with but I, I don't know we'll just have to see about that um, I'm still mulling over those options as well if you have any cool ideas for the fiend head sculpt let me know down in the comment section below this Finn Balor figure I want to get some kick pads on him because I absolutely despise this figure just chilling on the shelf with no kick pads I think I do have what I want to do but it's going to require breaking down some other figures and I, I really I don't necessarily want to do it we'll, we'll just see how that goes but I do want to rebuild this Finn Balor this Becky Lynch I feel like I want to get this ultimate head sculpt out of here and put on the Elite 72 over here possibly switch out some thighs and some lower legs I'm not sure I'm still mulling over it but that would be pretty cool to get some women's figures in here on action figure surgery episode 50 I don't think we do a lot of women's figures on action figure surgery I feel like the women's figures are pretty daggum good anyways especially with their new double jointed knees but I'm not a fan of this head sculpt whatsoever so I'm probably going to add that to it and again you guys know that just because I'm saying this stuff doesn't mean it's necessarily going to be a finalization for action figure surgery episode 50 but these are just some ideas that I had and I wanted to run it by you and you guys can let me know down below but another thing that I wanted to do guys as you guys can see here we have Ricochet, Rollins, Jeff Hardy, we have a Finn Balor over here another thing that I thought about doing was I want to do more fantasy attires and, and you know fix ups and stuff of that nature so I wanted to get some of my favorite guys in here knocking them the hell over but you have Jeff Hardy, Ricochet, Seth Rollins all these guys can, can, can you stand the hell up please so you guys know that we have all these different guys that I love so much so I did want to do some fantasy attires or mix and match some parts or or, or you know I, I do have some parts on the way for some of this stuff but I thought about even doing possibly a Jeff Hardy face paint I don't know how much I can get that on camera though because you know the heads are this big and I'm trying to get in there with a small detail brush maybe I can have the paint head sculpt ready to go for you guys I also had some ideas for a Dolph Ziggler uh, I wanted to get a Chase variant Ziggler and switch out the boots and arms with black arms and boots but I don't know how well that's going to work out because I still don't have an extra one I could never complete a trade and they want like $45 for it on the internet so 
I don't know, man. I'm still mulling that over. I mean, I got a ton of ideas, and uh, I'm, I, I mean, I may end up just doing all of it. You know, any ideas that pop in my head, just put it in there. One huge episode of action figure surgery, but I don't know. We'll have to see about that. The last thing that I had to show you guys for today is going to be Luchasaurus making a new improved Luchasaurus. You guys know that we did get the new head sculpt from BEW, and we have the older Luchasaurus right here. And you guys know I did plan on possibly selling this guy on eBay and making a brand new Luchasaurus with this head sculpt right here. I still think I have a copy of the decals that I could uh, make a completely new Luchasaurus with and that's probably what I'll end up doing. I still got to get the formula right because I, I want him to be a little bit taller, a little bit more beefy right there and uh, I want to make Luchasaurus look really damn good for action figure surgery and I want him to look good. I, I like this head sculpt and I got to get as much out of it as I can before we get an official Jazzware slash AEW action figure of Luchasaurus. So I think that is pretty much all I got for you guys. I, I tried my best to think of everything. I still have some other ideas that I'm mulling over. I want to finish my Jimmy King custom, but I'm still working on a formula for that. And all of this on top of the pick fed, on top of other things that we got going on. It's like, Jesus Christ, so much stuff going on. But if you guys have any ideas for some stuff you want to see on Action Figure Surgery episode number 50, guys, please let me know down in the comment section below. Any really cool fix-ups, customs, ideas, please let me know down below. I would love to hear them because I do want to. I want to make episode 50 epic, just like I made My Damn Halls episode 50 epic and you guys help me out on that you guys can help me out here today again by commenting down below what you guys want to see for that episode but i'm getting the hell out of here guys thank you so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below what do you like what do you not like what do you want to see on that episode follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you